Hi everyone, Horse Dubs here, and I'm rather excited to show you this charming stone built cottage nestled in a beautiful hillside location. As you will see, the views here are simply breathtaking. The cottage measures 15 metres by 7 metres, giving you just over 100 square metres of build. The stone walls are all in excellent condition, which adds to the rustic charm and character of the property. Additionally, all the doors and windows are modern. The roof, however, does need replacing. But don't worry, for a property of this size and shape, the cost should be manageable. This gives you the perfect opportunity to add insulation to the roof so it meets the latest standards. This property includes a second building, which is stone built. Although it needs complete renovation, it has the potential to become a lovely studio apartment. Both properties could be ideal for rentals, especially for holidays, but they would work well for long-term rentals too. This little building has two stories, and as you will see later, there is the possibility of a rather special add-on. This feature would significantly enhance the property's value and appeal, and I will show you why. We always have new properties coming to the market. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Check out our Facebook page for even more properties. We now offer a buyer's agent service to find any property in Portugal. Email us your detailed requirements and we'll find it for you at no cost. If you have a house to sell, our YouTube and social media presence can boost your chances. Contact us now. The property is just nine minutes from Panela, a charming town known for its picturesque Templar Castle and numerous events throughout the year, especially during Christmas. Sarah and I often visited Panela mainly for its fantastic children's assault course. We'll show you that later in the video. And trust me, if you want to see Sarah tackle the course in flip-flops, it's pure comedy gold. A couple of minutes closer is the shopping centre, which features a good supermarket, a cafe, a restaurant and other small shops. Coimbra is only 25 minutes away and Porto is just one hour and 40 minutes from here. The area is rich with natural wonders, including beautiful waterfalls, sheathed villages, and some amazing caves, all within a short drive. Local attractions include, and please, if you are Portuguese, forgive my pronunciation. I know it is bad. My children keep telling me. Cascata de Pedra de Ferida, Ferreria de São João, Sopador de Corvalho, and the ancient Roman ruins of Cunimbriga. The property also includes a plot of land, not directly attached, but accessible via a small strip. This land can be used as an orchard, vegetable plot, or whatever you fancy. You can't see much of the house from the air here, but it gives you an idea of the surroundings. Well, good morning, Sarah. How are you? Hello, good morning. And well, today we've got beautiful sunshine and we have a very pretty valley below us. We are, we are up in the hills. There's no point saying we're not up in the hills. Otherwise well, we wouldn't have this amazing view. Yeah. Yet we are 10 minutes from the M110, which is down there. We're in the Concelio of Panella, but it's a very quiet little hamlet up here. Um, we have got three set that, they're all together, the house is there, another little house here, and then the plot of land is here. So basically, very tempting to break into song and do the hills yeah. and the sand, but I'm not going to because it'd be terrible. Um, but where you can see the flowers down to the eucalyptus, this is your land plot. Yeah. Okay. And you may as well turn round and you can't actually see the back of the house. I've just no. tried to photograph it. But the cunning point is you can see the chimney sticking out the top. <laughs> and it runs from the big tree on the left yeah. to sort of the water butt on the right. But from the front, it looks completely different. But at the back, we can't really see it just because it's over. Yeah, I think it's worth pointing out at this point that there is um, right of access for the neighbour here yeah, to yes. come through. This is, the, so this, this is like a... A narrow public track where Sarah's standing yeah, uh, around the back of this house here, which doesn't belong. 
it's the it's the neighbour. But when we come around here, yeah. this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this small this small building here does actually belong. Yeah, so this is a separate urban artigo if we're going to make it sound yeah. nicer. Yeah, urban article. And I've been underneath. I don't well, well I'll show you the doorway. I had to scramble in. <laughs> okay, it's just an empty space. You can see the the rocks it's made with. Actually, pretty good. Nice big ones. Okay, they're small, but that could be exposed up. Yeah, it could be, it could very, be very nice. Yeah, a very pretty little studio. What it is, is you could make a two story studio in there, yeah. put a mezzanine in, and that would probably be a rental. And I guess you'd live in the main house. Um, you could put a balcony, actually, couldn't you, maybe? Yeah. And then you've got, you've got someone to have a sit and have a cup of tea. Yeah, that would be really nice, actually. actually. That would be very nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Just on yeah, the back here, that. and then you do Yeah, so that's nice, self-contained. Downstairs, but it's a complete renovation. Yeah. You've got to put a new roof on that, and you've got to gut it. But it's small, so it's really not going to take that much money. Or yeah. time. Yeah. So that, that's no, quick do upable. Yeah, the other house also needs a new roof. But that's probably... You might want to do several things in there. But the only thing that's important in the uh, house where you'll see um, in, a, in a minute mm -hmm. is the roof. And it needs a new roof. Definitely needs a new roof. Now, this is where Paul said, oh, let's go underneath. Okay, so I don't suggest you clamber in here. I've, I did, and you're you going to, aren't you? I know, I'm just going to sort of... It's very dark and you won't see anything. Yeah. There we go. You can okay, see so you can adjust your heights. If you went down a little bit there, you'd get a two-storey out of this. Go up a little bit on the roof, go down a little bit on the floor. It'd be a nice little cottage. Yeah, there's no reason at all. Expose the front. Stories. Look pretty. Yeah. That's a self-contained unit there. Yeah, a little studio apartment-y type thing. So here we are. Here we are. I have walked all the way through. Yeah. I've, I've taken photographs, Paul. But I know. You're a bit heavier than me. I don't know what the... No, I've already been through here. Okay. It's all fine. It's all good. And in fact, what I'm going to do, because Sarah mentioned that balcony idea, and I have to confess I didn't actually think of that. That would be the view from the balcony. Yeah, very nice. Absolutely fantastic. It'd be a game changer, wouldn't it? You just make your kitchen there and have yeah. a Juliet balcony that you can sit on and have your cup of tea or your dinner. Yeah. Okay. No, it would be amazing. And these walls are really thick, so just expose it all and you'd have a very, very sweet little cottage. Yeah, for, for really the, not much money. I wouldn't take no, much exactly. money to renovate that at all. I wouldn't take it at all. Yeah. Anyway, the four of us could live in it whilst we did the main house. Uh, we've got water and <laughs> I'm always thinking, do I move into this house? We've got water and obviously that's a telephone post, which yeah. you can ask to be moved if you want to, so it's not right in front of your house. That's telephone, electricity, water, all the, all the um, oh, municipality services are here. Facilities. <laughs> what are they called? So let's go up here. So this is the neighbour. This is between the two properties. Yeah. And we have a little chapel on our right, which is rather sweet. I've tried to peer through the windows. So this is the start. Okay, this is also a stone house. Obviously, you've got your water and your boundaries along here. And then it just follows this line. We've got a nice little courtyard. Yeah, I'll, come, I'll, I'll, area. I'll come into the... I just wanted to get... A shot of the house. Yeah, yeah a shot of um, from the from, of the house. So I'll come back down now into the courtyard and we'll rejoin Sarah. Yeah, it's not. A... Yeah, it's a really nice little uh, sun trap, isn't it? Yeah, it barbecue is definitely... area. Um, uh, so that actually leads to a bedroom, but I think we ought to go through the front door. Oh, how ra how conventional! <laughs> That's always been my strong point. Right, nice stone stone. Ooh, dong. Right, big kitchen. Oh, I was wondering where that window was. 
So obviously, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing underneath. Oh, sorry, a bit close to the camera there. <laughs> run away, run away. Um, so that there isn't an underneath floor here. So it's one level. And why are you laughing? I just don't know why you need to tell people that there isn't an underneath floor. Okay. <laughs> so the ceilings at the moment, this needs replacing before next winter. Okay, but again, we, we pay, Paul paced it out and it was roughly 100 square metres. Yeah, 100 square metres. So yeah. that's what you've got to replace and insulate because you can see that there's damage. But if you do it before next winter, you've got a nice house. And what you've got yes, to do is... I mean, all the walls are still, are, are still good, good, you know? Yeah. And you've got the height. Yeah. That makes, just gives it, even though it's not the hugest property, it gives it a sense of space because you've got... High ceilings. Yeah. Um, now, if we were to come through to this side, you could probably you could keep the you could keep these ceilings. You know, I mean, there's a few planks that need replacing, but that's all. Yeah. It's the roof above that that, yeah. that needs to. You take it off and insulate and yeah. Come back on. Okay, so this is a. It probably was a row of tiny little cottages. That's a stone wall there, and there's a stone wall here. So this has been used as a bedroom, and then it's got. An art bit, and it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's not a very good description. That yeah. an art bit. Yeah, it's got access, as you can see, out onto the barbecue area. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm now standing on the up bit. Yeah, uh, so uh, tall. <laughs> okay, so this is a good size. Your double bed's going to fit exactly there, actually. Yeah, yeah. Exactly there, and then you'd have a chair and a wardrobe up there. Oh no, wardrobe right here. Yeah. So you've got space for double bed, big wardrobe, and yeah, the seating is, area. It's a perfectly. <laughs> Sorry, you keep blinding me. I've got a flashlight on. Right. So now we're going to come this way. Just not. And this, with the modern kitchen put in, would be really nice. It's a big size kitchen, dining area, wood burner in the corner. Yeah, it's a good size like, round, actually. Yeah. You just modernise it all. Yeah. Could, you, could, well, I don't know. I mean, like swish. I mean, they could both be rentals. Now through here, they've created this wall here and there's a bedroom in here which was for the children. And you've got bunk beds, nice views. Again, it's a nice sized bedroom. It's, oh gosh, am I going to say it again? Depends what you want to do. Yeah. You, do you open it out? Obviously you remove that wall. Yeah. Um, yeah, remove it or... Or move it, but yeah, I was just saying I was trying to figure out how you could configure getting to the bathroom. It's fine. Put two bedrooms here. Yeah, you could actually just put one side by side here, couldn't you? Yeah, and then and this just have is a hallway. A hallway coming to the bathroom on the end. Yeah, because again, stone wall, big bathroom. Yeah, it's all possible. Okay, so, so the bathroom's not. <laughs> <laughs> Finding you at the yeah, foot of my face. Right, oh. so we've got bar, shower, again, high ceilings, and this yeah, full bar. part of the ceiling here is newer. Or oh, just hasn't been damaged. No, it hasn't been, yeah. That's all it is. It just, just hasn't, hasn't leaked there. Yeah. Okay. It's very, very quiet. The only thing you can hear is us. Yeah. Well, it's a lovely, peaceful place, yeah. considering that you're so close to. Um, so many places. Uh, obviously. Oh, we've forgotten to do the air bit. Oh, uh, Paul will disappear into the air soon and come back and show you where everything is. No point in saying about it yeah. now. Okay, so what we've got is this is a, well, it's a good price. They're both projects. I mean, this house, literally the roof, and then you can live in here. Um, the little property there is a very easy project to do if you, you just rip everything out. Put a ring beam on it, put a new roof on it, and then just design it into a nice studio. So that's either guests or rental accommodation. And then the land plot there, you can easily terrace that if you want to and have a vegetable pot and a garden. At the moment, it just looks beautiful with all the flowers on it. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, Penella, which is just a few kilometres away from the house we've just done. And we might not be able so to we're going to show you a little bit about, I mean, it's got a wonderful castle, a very pretty centre. But the reason right. we used to come here when our kids were small, it's quite I haven't absolutely wonderful. For years. 
oh children's God. play park. Ah. And of course, Sarah immediately comes here. It's broken. And for some, <laughs> and for some reason, has decided to do the assault course, which might be entertaining in its own right. I did mention that flip flops were probably not helping. Not the, um, oh. the ideal footwear for for doing that, but. Do you know what? I haven't done this for a few years. <laughs> on the assault course, with flip flops on. So I'm just gonna. They just pretend that I'm three or five or seven or something, and this is all really scary. Woo yeah, it might be a bit of a stretch. Ha 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 This is our second. I'm actually doing the assault fun. course as fast as possible. <laughs> Fairness, I'm not sure I'll be that much quicker these days. You? Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? Right, yeah. okay. I've forgotten about this bit. Don't think about it, just do. Oh my god. Come on. Get over that get over that rope bridge. Get over that rope bridge. I look quite having my bottom in the air. Right, oh god. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean oh god. I soon realise. Is that slide How gonna hot is that slide gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, but I mean, I've got to, I've, <laughs> I've got to keep it on for the slide. Here, here we go. Do the other ones as well. No. <laughs> oh God. There we go. Sarah, Sarah's done the assault course. Um. <laughs> so it's another one, but that was the best one. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that as much as she did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it is a fantastic facility. Loads of parking. There's a restaurant actually on there, which I showed you right at the beginning. Yeah. There's a restaurant over there on the corner. Uh, there are restaurants up in the town. Oh. Um, shops. Uh, Panetta Shopping, which is just outside of town. You know, caters for pretty much all your needs. Oh, God, she's at it again. Oh, I'm going to fall off. Are you sure that's not actually just a fence? There's a, um, I think because of the, Templar Castle thing, which we'll show you, show you a bit of in a minute. Um, there is a sort of medieval theme. Oh, hang theme. on. I know so what's inside got a medieval here. Theme, a medieval tower type thing with a, uh, a non-medieval slide. But fantastic facilities for children. Sarah, where are you? Um, <laughs> right, flip-flops weren't there. Yeah. Where are you? I'm... Hi! <laughs> Come on, down the slide quickly. <laughs> here, here comes the, the second slide of the day. Oh, but the 